With the moon is distance, the clouds are clear, and the darkness is a dim blue glow. Okay, this is a bit different, but okay. I will skip ahead, assuming things don't 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 change significantly. You know, this is basically the same, but more cinematic considering they're using the uh, the framing of the black. Okay, he's thinking a bit more about it. But I really don't care about this being the last battle. We go up the stairs, the mountain gate is approaching, this is the end. No matter who wins this battle, Saber will disappear. A long and short days of battle will end and Saber will vanish from this world. She's going to return to her proper time. I... I can't say I have no regrets. Losing Saber. Losing the one I promised to protect. The ones whose happiness I wish for. I don't know yet how hard it will be. We're still walking together and I can feel her presence. I'm not yet ready to lose her. Even if I knew many days ago. Even if I knew from the moment we met there would be a parting at the end. Thinking back, there are so many memories. Nights when we walked together. Times when we fought together. I subsequently tried hard in the beginning, thinking that I couldn't let a girl fight. She trained me hard at the dojo. I slept in the shed because I was unable to sleep with a girl in the next room. We had lunch together. Saber liked the bath, satisfied when the food was good. I liked the clothes the sock prepared for her and talked with Fujine. She pushed herself, took all the burdens onto her shoulders, and finally collapsed. And we shared our hearts in the ruin. I've been crazy since then. I couldn't have been—I couldn't think of anything but Saber. But after my reasons for fighting changed, I realized that I love Saber. How could I lose someone like that? How could I lose someone like this? Saber doesn't say anything. I can't say anything either. When those stairs end, well, if, if we reach the top, there will be nothing for us to talk about. Losing Saber and parting with her will happen in the future. But this moment is the only time allotted for us for farewells. We go up the stairs. If I don't want to say goodbye, I can just talk to her about meaningless things. Like... Like going to town again after we get home. Or what she wants for breakfast tomorrow morning. Such meaningless things. But I cannot even talk about such things. If I talk, that'll be our final conversation. A clear end. Neither of us can offer a clear farewell. And so we reach the mountain gate. This is the final choice. If we go on, it will end. But if we go back, I'm able to find a way to avoid losing her. Saber. I stop and turn back to Saber. Saber's the same as always. A tense stare with a composed expression. The moment I see it, all kinds of temptation attack me. Like, let's run away. Like, if I don't want to lose her, I can go back. She would accompany me if I wished. My determination wafers. And that temptation rises in my throat. But I stop it. Iko. I declare that as a master, just as I always have. Save it not silently. Your eyes are strong willed as always. So I won't have any regrets. And she believes in me. I too will believe that my choice is correct. We start for the mountain gate. We head into battle. With no return. I couldn't say anything and I couldn't tell her what I really wanted to tell her. But I wanted to believe that this silence was able to tell her my feelings. Along stairs we climb together. This is our final memory of our time together. Red light fills the mountain top. The blowing wind is getting stronger and it seems the source of it is that light coming from the back of the grounds. The red phosphorescence... Okay, back when it's different. Okay, this is slightly more detailed. Talked about, sorry, talked about, uh, what do you wish for? 
I've no... I have no wish. Don't care how you use it. It just wants ever. At the same time, they're behind him, so he's like, Hey, it's a traditional phantasm looking like bullets. あ、よう約この時が来たか。今までずっと考えていたぞセイバー。いや、なるお前をどう踏みつけ。あれを飲ませるか。はあ。泣き虫ぶかを踏みつけ、その体を染め抜くほどの泥を飲ませ。よく言
それがお前の求めた質問の答えだ、はあ、お前たちが平穏を糧にするようにこの身は星の光を食べて生きている The priest offering his speech with his hands art is abnormal I feel a chill but not a speech To the priest himself because he looks like a holy being while he says he wants to enjoy humans. Sonari. Ah, ten years ago, the war was not bad. It was a small scale, but it was a real shock to me. So, I was looking for the same thing as I was looking for. The same thing as I was looking for. The same thing as I was looking for. どうだ無念のまま朽ちる人間の叫びは胸に迫るものがあっただ<笑> Don't talk shit A time That hell can't be contained with just that one sentence 理解してくれたかいびつな形ではあるが私ほど人間を愛している者はいない故に私ほど聖杯にふさわしい人間もいまい Conceded, aren't you? The priest laughs in satisfaction, as if, as if he thinks that event where people died in vain is wonderful from the bottom of his heart. <sighs> I concentrate on my feet. I put my powers into my legs, about to jump forward. And I jump forward with all my might. It's about 10 meters to him, I'll go straight him and. The use. I jump sideways. It's with all my instincts not wanting to die. It's passing the side to kill him. I roll sideways on the ground and look up. Yep. I look at the place I was running over. A sound of burning. The place. The burning sound is coming from the black mud, stretching the legs, like black carpet, and the mud slash the whip attacking me when I went after going to Mine and left a mark on the ground. <laughs> So I need an ability that I don't need to move for. Hey! I took archery, right? Let me use let me get my bow and arrow. That would make sense. I jumped to avoid the black man mercilessly, uh, mercilessly attacking me. Screw moving carelessly, he's ready to kill me. Oh yeah, this seems about the same at the moment. Remember what happened to Lancer, going to me laughs as if in admiration. So, that was after he said, Yeah, don't lie, you can't say that for text over behind. Man, I just want to get to the 100% new stuff so I don't have to worry about like repeat shit. It's annoying. Uh... エミア氏。私はお前に期待していたのだ。リンがお前を教会に導いたよ。運命すら感じた。お前中年前にかなわなかった望み。エミア規律具という男にこうしてもう一度引導を渡せるとは思わなかった。Let's <laughs> The priest raises his hand, he glares at the heavens as if he's conducting an orchestra. I thought the sky was red. He releases the black snakes. I was about to say, interlude time? Oh, oh sparks fly off. The golden knight retreats the, from the blows which are full of the utmost spirit. She must have seen it as an opening. Tip dodges the swinging sword and moves deeper into the enemy's range. The yell is a rip. The sword is like a comet. It overwhelms the opponent and he hesitates, but she just keeps on attacking. Sword keeps moving. 
has destroyed rocks and pierced the walls, Von. See? Every bullet is blocked by weapons appearing from behind him. Hey! Escaping danger to the golden Nike, who meshes another sword in hand. <laughs> it's easy to repel that weapon. But she cannot block it straight on. All the enemy's weapons have unknown abilities. It would be suicide to block without knowing its ability. Sivage is back out of range and catches her breath. Gubich raises himself unhurriedly. Gilgamesh shows no fatigue. For him, this battle is just entertainment. There must be no fatigue or strain when he knows he's going to win. But it's different, uh, but it's different for Saber. For her, this is for her. This moment is her only chance of victory. Before her enemy becomes serious, she has to defeat Gilgamesh before he takes out Aya, or she will be the one defeated. That's why he's, she's continuing to attack without a thought for saving her energy. She is cornered the enemy like this more than a few times. But still, she can never get past his wall of noble phantasms. Assuming we have a strategy meeting about the sheath. それも時間の問題だ。お前は聖杯を知らぬ。あれの相手は俺でも手こずるのだぞ。お前は俺には勝てぬし、あやつでは琴峰に勝てん。敗役を誤った。お前が聖杯に挑んでいれば、この戦い
a three-edged sword arcing and attacking from behind, a swing from a hammer bigger than she is. She blocks repels dodge and twists her body away from the last attack. <sighs> really hard, Saber covers the stance she's driven out of. In that instant, she sees them behind her enemy. Behind Gilgamesh. The noble phantasms are already produced. 47 of them. Quick, quick counter. She jumps at full force. Many noble phantasms stab into the ground, not let her escape. In the rain of noble phantasms, she is hit time after time. Her armor is destroyed, her gauntlets pierced, even the pierces covering her feet are pierced. She manages to avoid a fatal wound, even in da uh, this danger. But then she. Then she sees the worst thing possible. On the other side of the rainbow. On the other side of the rain of noble phantasms. As to finish off the fling enemy, Gilgamesh is pulling out his favorite sword. She stops her jump. She lands right away and pours magical energy into her holy sword. Or will it be in time? The wind roars, the blade of light is revealed. She raises her sword without waiting for the wind to fully unseal. She does not even bother the reign of noble phantasms and swings her holy sword with all the speed possible. But it's too late. Pounding through his noble phantasms, Yokama swings his sword. I kick away the mucus around my ankle. My clothes are burnt away, my skin is exposed. Alright, a lot of the same stuff. Dead ends. Why did it say dead end, anyways? Why did it say dead end and not bad end this time? Because the only time it said dead end before was the, like, fake one. Huh. Alright, still there, just be able to run. Hmm. Okay. The instant he speaks. A lot of mud comes splashing down towards me, telling me I cannot let myself stop. Raise myself up, barely down some mud. Haven't tripped yet. It's low compared to Saber Shinai. Okay. Oh, and I tripped. Okay. Yeah, fall, 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 fall. Snakes are coming. And we're getting. My right angle is unbelievably black. So come out of the car. Scotia I raise my head. I'm so conscious. My person next, sir. How am I mud like chains, but I still retain my senses? なんで。とどめを刺さない。無論。すぐ終わらせるとも。だがそれでは芸がなかろう。お前は切り継ぐの贋作だからな。うん。奴に受けた10年前の負債は。It's still bit of mud on it is burning. It's like acid slowly seeping through the pores of my skin, because I felt acid on my skin so many times. I grip my teeth, bare it, and check on my red ankle. It's totally black. I can't feel it, nor can I move it at all. I'll have to, t I'll have to take the mud out of my body or magical energy into it to move the clotted blood in there. Either way, the, move and I move, uh, the moment I move it, all the muscle on my right ankle will be destroyed. Okay. Sorry, I can't move it. お前なんだってそこまで切り継ぐを目の敵にするんだ。何？金身象王というやつだ。私と切り継ぐは似ていたからな。ふざけるな！切り継ぐとお前が似ているなんて間違っても口にするな。I <笑><笑> raise my body up, my arms and glare at him. Uh, I don't know what's so funny, but it makes that evil smile. なるほど。お前にとってはそうだろ。何しろ奴は私を見逃すほどの善人だったからな。Oh, then I don't want to be a better person than him. 
あの大火災を引き起こした私を倒しただけで命までは取らなかったそれが間違いだったことをお前は知っているはずだ、まあ What qualifies a mistake and not a mistake changes a lot depending on a lot of things. Kiritsu say what I should call a steokeba. I know Kojitachua. Odaya can a nichijo kretano daro karana. Unlon de Kimai Naga what I should need to most sore of Kaina Jijitsu that. What I should get on I. Hmm. Are hold on a cocona majisci that the Otokuga. 敵を助けたという事実こそが不快だった。だが、奴の過ちはそんなことではない。奴が犯した過ちはな。聖杯を壊しただけでこの戦いが終わったと思い込んだことだ。故に、奴はお前に何も伝えず。聖杯戦争は終わったのだトラック。トーケといえばトーケだな。やつは自身を呪った私を見逃し、その果てに数年足らずで命を落とした。あの、オーケー。自分はことを成したと、聖杯戦争を終わらせたのだと。Hold on. Then one. We took time because of this guy. Yeah, it is heavily implying that he's the one who gave him whatever cause that killed him. And that peaceful face he had on the night of his death was. So, the. Saigo, Kiritsu no Saigo, a do that no die, Mia Shiro. Musco de Aro, my niato, taxi. None to you, doke, Brida. If you want to have your revenge on him, he still died happy. Nani hitos to ste nasses, Musco de Aro, my ni sekin o hitske, Sazo coke ni kieta no de Arona. I kick off the ground. I drove magic energy to my right foot and moved it by force. I ignore my tearing muscles and run to him on all fours like a dog. So that, so no te do no ki ga ga na kute wa. Hmm. Oh wait. Ah,、uh, raises his hand towards a water waterfall behind him. If we want to describe this as a waterfall, sure. What is he thinking? What is a curse so strong that it's visible? That is a curse so strong that it's visible. You call it magic energy specialized for destroying people. There's nothing you can do with it, it cannot be reshaped or anything. Anybody that touches that mud will be stained with a strong curse that will be melted as if digested. In the process, the pain and fear before death remain as magical energy and become the next curse to seek out living people. So, if you, so you die if you touch it. Anyone who touches it will die unless they can get the mud out of their body. Hmm. The priest stuck his hand in the waterfall mud, but he doesn't stop smiling. In his hand is the black darkness. It, I sense that is something completely different, N. The one is attacked by a sudden flash of light. The moment I realize that the light is from Saber's Noble Phantasm. The moment I realize that light is from the Saber's Noble Phantasm. The priest's words instantly turn the world black. Hmm. Uh, her vision blinded with the light is filled with darkness. If she were conscious, she would have known it was the ultimate black light. Huh. The darkness was only for an instant. It is not darkness, but a swarm of great eyes curses. The darkness swept. Her body away, and she began catching this from the unpleasant sensation. Did they? Oh, so they did, didn't have a proper. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't have a proper clash with her fight. She gasps. The first thing she feels after consciousness again,、uh, consciousness returns, is pain. The skin that was protected by the armor is burned. Her body is pierced and slashed, and she's in a miserable state. So. Hmm. Masaya. She's cornered by Gugumet's noble phantasms, and she cannot block them, and took a hit from Aya as well. She managed to offset a bit with、uh, Excalibur, but her body is wounded too badly. The wound is healing without magical energy, but even the protection of the sheath will not return her to normal instantly. 
there. You're going to approach us without a scratch. Still on the ground, Saber looks up at her enemy. She cannot do anything right now. Man can do whatever he wants with her. It's fine with that. This is what she worries about. A flash of light. A black darkness from the back of the compound. That, that black darkness from the back of the compound that covered the earth for an instant. She does not want to think about it, but the darkness might have been aimed at Shiro. あれは極大の呪いだ。コトミネが聖杯から直接呼び出したのだろうな。聖杯の中にはこの世の全てを呪う。な、先ほどから見えているあのオダクアナ。せ、その本体を出されたのだ。お前のマスターとて。そんな。
back. Held upside down, Saber stares at Gilgamesh. Sabantotoste, Master Nigirio Tate Ruakeka. Kudarana Takanga Reju no Shibaride, Kono Karado Kurete at the Itato. Oh, holding her by the f I see it now. So they were Chiga. Can't you guys sit in a Gilgamesh? But she was Darini Mustaganai. Hazimekara, Kono Karadani Sona Ji, you and I know that. Oh. Deva do at Temo. His red eyes pierce Saber. There's no human emotion. He will kill if she disobeys. He will just kill her no matter how attached he was to her. These are his true feelings. Gilgamesh's truth. Saber stares back at Gilgamesh, not averting her gaze. Gilgamesh. Watashi wa dare no mono ni mo naranai. Watashi wa sude ni kuni no mono da. Kono mi wa onna de aru mai ni onna no dakara. She does not say it to anyone. She just says so, feeling the small warmth still within her body. Huh. Nani o yuka to omoe ba? Warawase ru na seiba. O ni to te kuni to wa onore no the Golden Knight sneers at her immaturity. And that brings back her determination. Ah, so not all it. Daga, eh, you owe you. So not a car. Kisama, Mizuka, no kuni, or horrible stanada. A roar. A roared yell, full of spirit. Saber uses her own body to kick Yogamesh in the face with her free leg. Gilgamesh lets go. Saber stays upside down and jumps using her arms. Interesting mark. Interesting marks on your face. They're not like cracks, are they? I wonder how, uh, how actually stable his body is. She closes her eyes and looks within herself. That's why you were destroyed by your own country. She already knew that. She's heard those words over and over since she was summoned as Saber. That man is different. He was mad like it was his own affair, but still, he thought that it was something to be proud of. So there's only one thing that must be done. Even if there's not the slightest chance of winning, she cannot stop here. While the warmth is still in her heart, she must run to her master as fast as possible. <laughs> About eight meters to Gilgamesh. She places herself at the best range she found earlier. Her body will not move just as she wishes. Her legs do not have even a tenth of the original power, and the arms holding her sword are weak. She will fall without being able to block no matter what kind of a weak attack she receives. There are no openings in Saber's stance, nor are there any hesitations. <clears throat> Gilgamesh has to prepare himself, seeing her like that. The Golden Knight readies Aya and looks at his opponent. Saber does not answer. Her eyes show determination. Yokaro. Naraba kagen wa nashida. And the air roars. The sword of separation, Aya. A sword sent in ancient Mesopotamia to have divided and created the world. Gilgamesh's sword of separation roars to exterminate its enemy for sure this time. The swirl of air and the magical energy within it far exceeded Excalibur. Kiero. Mezawari da onna. He is raised. Saber raises her sword to match it. The gaze meets only for an instant. Gilgamesh's sword is swung. Saber's sword falls without power 
as she's unable to activate the Noble Phantasm. The light that cuts everything charges. I'm going to do anything. She's swallowed by that light. The instant I'm swallowed by the darkness, hell is printed into my brain. The starting penalty is five. Life penalty, blood, body penalty, freedom penalty, fame penalty, fortune penalty. Give the penalty that extends so much punishment. Mud, darkness, and malice. Elimination of human rights by castration, I, exile, execution. Torture and sadism upon the body through digestion. Denial by consensus of the colony that eliminates all honor. Die. Scorn from judgment and selfishness that takes away men's fortunes. Death penalty, penal service, imprisonment, custody, fine penalty, covered crime from drug, crime from grudge. Crime from self-interest, unconscious crime, self-conscious crime, civil war, inducement, false statement, theft, robbery, kidnap, suicide, arson, rape, bombing, violation, negligent homicide, mass violence, death at w death at work, overconfident accident. Die, die, die. Misdiagnosis, concealment, violation of benefit, violation of self-protection, violation of love, violation of respect, selfish blank, stealing fraudulent fraud, uh, stealing fraudulent false, stealing fraudulent fraud, concealment, murder, theft, crime, crime, personal. Crime, crime, personal grudge, attack, 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 dirty, 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 you are dirty, you atone, tone, 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 every violence, every crime, every victim atone for everything. This world is ruined by something not human, known by the conscious to reform crimes. Die, 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 die. Know the penalty to reform crimes. Because kind of here. There's so much it cannot, that it cannot be noticed. Interesting. Know the violence to hide crimes. Know the power to hide crimes. People have been in this. People's malignance is here. It's so rare that not notice honor, kindnesses, and one malignance. 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 Malignance shines bright to keep the balance in existence as a great evil to compensate with the masses of kindness. The starting penalty is five. Blank for self, blank for self, blank for self, blank for self, etc. Uh, inducement, false statement, theft, robbery, kidnap, suicide, rape, arson, infringement, dirty, 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 you are dirty, you don't, 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 Die. Okay. Honestly, I'm not sure how to get out of this situation. Because it's not like Saber was trying to get around. She took the attack. Hmm. My brain explodes. The mud eating away at my body remains and steals my warmth mercilessly. I'm crushed by the thing, seeping in through all five senses. Darkness I cannot look at directly. Ugliness I cannot acknowledge. Crimes I want to run away from. Every crime of the people in this world. That is why I'm going to die. One trapped in this darkness will eat themselves to death from pain and hatred. Fine. Good mean I said that this curse killed Kuritsugu. In fact, knocks away every darkness. Warmth returns to my body. Blood flows through my beaten up body and makes it stand. It's only natural. Such a thing. And Kuritsugu had been burdened with this for many years. He was pressed by the voices for atonement and died unable to fulfill his wish. He said he wanted to become a superhero. He ran around trying to help someone, but could not get anyone's permission for that. Yet he still did what he could to pursue the ideals he had abandoned. In the end, he was relieved by something a kid said and nodded to himself that everything was okay. <laughs> So I have to stand up. I believe really Kuritsugu promised that I'd become one. If Amishiro is really that superhero's son, then I can't let the bad guy beat me. Saga said, I should win no matter what. Are we gonna win through real power? Saber said, He's an enemy that I must defeat. Even Kunamine said, If I'm going to fight, I should put my life on the line. They're right. What else can I bet if I won't bet my life? From the beginning, I have nothing else to give. I leap desperately out of the dense black mud. I can hear his bewilderment. My throat is burning. My windpipe tears every time I breathe and it feels like I'm swallowing pieces of glass. I don't care. Tears are welling up from anger. I'm going to go crazy from anger before I get crazy from the curse. Fun thing, isn't it? Now I just need enough time to kill you. I push my body and run. I have one hand behind my back. I grab the dagger I've hidden until now. Sorry. 
I run. Good meaning. Sticks his hand in the waterfall behind him and extracts another cup of darkness. All my hesitations disappear. If I do reach Kodamine, I think his biggest mistake would be that line. At least the command spell is on my left hand. It's the only proof I have. As long as my command spell exists, the saber exists. If she exists, she must have defeated Gilgamesh by now, and she'll be heading over here. I think Saber will be angry if I don't greet her with open arms. If I have my arms left on my body, so I will defeat you now. Fill the last promise I made with her. The darkness approaches. A great curse released from Kodamine's hand. My body melts from fingertips. I won't look away. If this is my role, there's still something I can do. And his location runs through space. With a flash of light and roar of wind, this world of destruction sent Lutramea. With that in front of her, Saber cannot even use her noble phantasm. She lowers her sword and moves her body forward as if she's falling. The light approaches. She cannot avoid it with her injured legs. And there is no shield in this world that can block Aya. A storm of light and wind that will destroy everything in its path. Nothing can stand against the true name of Aya. That is the fact. That cannot be changed. Yes. Until a few hours ago. <laughs> that once. the one surprise, not Saber, but the Golden Knight bearing Aya. I am still emitting magical energy and bringing forth destruction. Saber steps forward into that tumbling storm of light. Her armor screams out. Cracks running through every wall, and magical energy protecting her. In the period shorter than a second that they endure the attack, Saber steps up to Gugamesh and. She imposes A's destruction with the greatest power she's permitted. Heat and light rumble wildly. The crash of the great swords push against each other with pure power, creating boundary in space. But is it not useless? Scalper cannot beat Anne. Even when she approaches at the risk of her life, she can only push back it just a little. The balance easily favors Anne and Excalibur's light is repelled back along with Saber. I really have no idea what she's trying at this point. It seemed like she might have been trying to do something clever by going, like, into the eye of the storm or some shit, but no, I guess not. Reading Aya, the Golden Knight looks at the enemy approaching him again and puts magical energy into Aya. This will be it. He will totally annihilate Saber with all his power. Aya's turns reach their maximum speed, and the light surrounding Saber moves down Excalibur. Just before that, Saber's body jumps forward. A small space created by Excalibur, a place where she can take one more stem. The instant she reaches it, her noble phantasm appears. The darkness becomes a raging wind to cover Emmy Shiro. There's no way to avoid it, and the concept of blocking is useless against a curse that paints space itself. Those swallowed by this darkness will be absorbed by it like the painted space. Body melting from the fingertips. Legs moving forward, steps onto empty space, and arms reaching out are already invisible from the black mud. Emmy Shiro will be eliminated from the outside. Attacked by a feeling that his body is shrinking, Emmy Shiro still does not accept death. <laughs> Without looking away, he rejects it with all his might. The darkness surrounding the body, the pain trying to melt the body, the curse trying to melt the mind. <coughs> there are futile attempts. There's no way for a mere human to resist the pollution. The body's still moving. The arm raised to grab something. It's still raised. The mind is already destroyed. The mind is already painted in black, and the body should disappear into darkness as well. In that moment... <laughs> Why is that voice remembered? The light turns on in the darkness. The instant the eyes realize the light is at that light, everything reverses. The hammer comes knocking down. The mind accelerates, cracks with sparks, and creates a shape with unbelievable speed. 
Doris. Hmm. Uh, okay. Smells begin the projection is murmured. In an instant. It's completed, omitting every step of manufacturer. That is right. There's no need to reproduce it from scratch. Because this shape was engraved in the body. It is perfect in memory, as it was a part of Emmy Shiro's body. The arm reaching out still moves. The weapon created without concentration or spell casting is grabbed. The world changes completely as the darkness is destroyed by a golden light. And Emmy Shiro's hand is the perfectly reproduced sheath of Saber. And, like that, the A is straight ahead of her. Her noble phantasm is activated. That which is released and scattered before her is the Holy Sword Sheath. No one knows what kind of divine mystery it is made from, but the sheath repels all light emitted by Aya. No, it goes beyond the level of defending. It is complete isolation. The barrier of Fairyland that keeps out all filth from the outside lands, a complete world separate from this one that can never be reached. The saber is protected by the sheath of the Holy Sword. She is blocked off from all matter in this world. The greatest protection in this world. The greatest that cannot be infringed on by anything, not even by the five sorceries. For that reason, the sheath is named Avalon. All is a distant utopia. The place where King Arthur is said to have gone after his death. The utopia the king dreamed of that would never be reached. Gilgamesh sees the death running up his spine. But he won't make it. The race Aya. The race Aya will not stop turning. The race Aya will not stop turning and Gilgamesh cannot manage to jump back. So, it is only natural. Who would even think that an attack with this much magical energy and this much power could be blocked? Blue clothes run in. There is no armor on Saber. She has released the armor protecting her, but the magical energy gained into her sword and. All the darkness is blown away the instant the sheath is grabbed. The darkness surrounding Emmy's room. The darkness contaminating his body. Everything is dispersed. <laughs> there is no reason to be surprised. The sheath of the Holy Sword protects its possessor. The embodiment of the Utopia she saw it cannot lose to this dirty mud. He runs. Apparently it wasn't enough in the bad ending, I guess. Or maybe it was a dead end because Emmy wasn't dying, but... Saber did, so everything was fucked, anyways, or something like that. At the moment, he is released from the darkness. His speed is like that of a shooting star. Oh, so you weren't paying enough attention. The one overestimating their ability, the one who cannot even spare to think about such things. The difference is only an instant, an instant that decides the outcome. Soon falling. I mean, Jero runs on his hands as well. In one hand is the dagger. In a crouching position, running to the Black Priest. <laughs> Sword of Retribution. He stabbed into the priest's chest. <laughs> the priest turns slowly. Before then, stopping himself with his feet, I mean, Jero jumps back. The spinning body, and all the magic energy in his left hand. Takes it, and like a whirlwind, he... Let's go! 
and the magic energy poured into the outside sword along with the word of release. 